I never knew what I wanted to do when I was young. I knew I wanted adventure, but I just never knew. When you say to people, especially a lot of females, you say, you know, um, engineering, and they go, oh my God, and they think you're working with machines the whole time or you're working with cars, but it's like dancing. There's so many different types of dancing. You can have Irish dancing, ballet, waltz, freestyle. You can have Russian dancing, and they're all so different. My mum used to always say I broke iron. I used to break everything. I'd take things apart. I suppose playing with Lego, and I loved jigsaws. I wouldn't have had a role model as an engineer or anything like that, but um, I always was interested in how things worked. You give me a problem, I want to solve it. When I was picking my Leaving Cert subjects, I picked the technical drawing. And when I got my electives back, they had given me home ec instead of technical drawing. And I kind of looked at them and said, no, I want to do technical drawing and I want to be an architect, which I had at the time. And I said, well, you know, home ec isn't going to help me be an architect. I need to know how to draw. So I fought with them and I got what I wanted. And I was the only girl to go down and do technical drawing. <laughs> You have mechanical, which is you're designing and building. You have process production, which I am, is where you go investigate, you make things better, faster, at a higher quality. You have civil engineering, which is out on the roads. You have chemical, you have, there's so many different types of engineering. In engineering, like to solve problems, you have to stand back and watch it. Same with teaching, you have to see who's listening, who's learning but they'd relate to each other there. My mother was an engineer, so I kind of knew what engineering as a career was. Having that role model there allowed me to just decide that, you know, it's not just a career for males, that females can be engineers too. It's a very interesting field to be involved in, to be at the forefront of technology. Because it's always changing, we're always going to be doing different things and we're always going to be trying to develop on what we have already. I find that work is really interesting because you're kind of ahead of the curve in terms of the software engineering, smartphones, smart homes, everything has become smart nowadays, so everything's always connected. I've been through the the boot camp of engineering and physics and to be able to study physics and engineering it's sort of licensed to think and I think engineering really gives you the confidence to think about these ideas because it gives you the technology behind a lot of other ideas and you can then understand that they have been created by people. When you get the plans on your desk first day and you're just figuring it out and you're doing the legwork, say, doing your work, and then when it goes to site, actually seeing like that was just drawings on my desk and now it's a building. Women have a great way of bringing people together and communicating. And engineering is all about communicating to find solutions. In the different areas that I've been, in the middle of Queensland in Australia, um, in the middle of Fort McMurray in, um, in Canada, uh, women in that environment create a much greater sense of, of unity and, and delivering projects. So if you are like solution focused um, and determined, then go and give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen?
look into it and see is it for you like when i wanted to be an engineer i was told no here i am teaching engineering <laughs>